Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition and today's video is going to be your um, end of September love reading. Um, I changed up my setup so um, you'll be seeing my face for this video. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys um, like my channel and like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll just jump right into it. Um, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. End of September love reading. I'm going to do a spread and everything, you guys. I'm not going to do my normal freestyle shuffle. I'm going to do um, an old school spread that I used to use back in the day. All right. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. End of September love reading <sighs> all right aries your energy is the seven of wands you guys got the Seven of Wands. Um, their energy, woo, Ace of Cups, love offerings, um, something to release. You guys got the Two of Wands. There's some kind of decision you're thinking about. Um, your hopes, you guys got the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, your fears are, you guys got the Four of Cups. You got two fours here. All right, and the outcome, you guys got the tower. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Sorry about that. All right, and bottom of the deck, you guys got temperance uh, in reverse. So um, temperance talks about timing. So we're going to see how that applies here. All right, let's go back to your card, guys. There's a lot of fire and a lot of water here. Okay, Aries, fire, fire, fire is you guys. Um, Aries, you guys are holding it down right now. This card also came up for somebody else in their love reading in their position. Um, this, I think this came up for Scorpio. Maybe some of you guys are with a Scorpio. Um, and that could be because there's a, um, cups right here is their energy. Anyways, but your energy is the seven of wands. You're really holding it down. You're really working your tail off, um, to kind of, um, block off any, any haters. Hey, y'all stop. Sorry about the barking. Um, you're really working uh, really hard to um, block off any negative people and your guys' energy, people trying to come up and, like, I'm hearing ruin your relationship. I don't think anyone's going to ruin your relationship. Um, but people who are just, like, like, family or friends who are just kind of, like, telling you how it should be is what I'm hearing, too. Like, People trying to like push their opinion upon you um, about how your relationship should be, but you guys are not listening to that, which I agree with. You should always do what you feel in your gut and in your heart what you should do and what's best for your relationship. Those of you that are single, um, you've like kind of kissed a bunch of frogs recently too and you're just like, oh, I'm just trying to like hold it down and like keep the peace and I just, you know, I'm looking for my partner, like <laughs> that sort of thing. So... All right, um, and their energy here, Aries, is they got the um, Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. Um, I'm hearing wedding bells, like someone, um, those of you that are in a relationship, um, you know, there could be a proposal coming up soon. There could be, um, you know, and especially there's, you guys got the Four of Wands over here. It's in your hopes position. It's in the reverse, but it is here. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, Ace of Cups is beautiful. This is um, divinely guided. Um, spirit is like, you know, uh, sending you guys all their love. They they want you guys to be together. This is a, a divine partnership, um, that sort of thing. There could be um, um, other, offer, other offers of love for those of you that are single. Um, and you, like I said, you've been kissing all the frogs. I feel like something, something major is coming up soon. Um, so just hang in there, stay positive, um, keep saying your positive affirmations and that sort of thing. And, um, I feel like that's going to be really awesome. All right, you guys, um, in your release position, you guys got the two of wands here. Um, so something that you need to let go of is, 
um, you've been trying to make some kind of decision recently about a situation. Um, it could also be between two people. Some of you could have had um, a couple different people that you've been talking to recently and you're fighting them off saying, no, I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you, I want you. <laughs> kind of that sort of thing. If you guys are doing the ones, um, if you guys are the ones that are pursuing or vice versa, it can, it, this can go either way. These are general readings. So awesome. So, um, guys, in your hopes position, like we talked about earlier, you guys got the four of wands. It is in reverse because I feel like you guys are almost fearful that this won't even happen. Don't don't be so overpowered by your fears. Um, try to really put your um, you know best foot forward, especially with your um, angels and guides. Um, you know, praying, meditating that um, if this is what you really want, then you know it it should happen. It, it, the card is here. Um, it is something that you've always hoped for. Um, but it is in the reverse, which means I feel like there is some kind of blockage, but only just temporary because I just feel like there's other people like family members or friends just like chiming in your ear of like how you should be in a relationship or what kind of person you should be with or something along those lines, which is ridiculous because you guys, you know, what's best for you. So keep that in mind and you guys just listen to your gut. Okay. Um, all right, Aries, and you guys, um, in your fierce position, um, you got the four of cups. So yeah, you guys have might, might have felt like a little bit stagnant and kind of bored recently. Um, but again, in the four of cups, there is a cup coming right at this guy that is brought by this cloud, which is spirit. It's coming from above. This matches the ace of cups perfectly. Um, the cup in this card is this giant cup right here, but you're like worried about all these other cups over here or, you know, like, you know, that sort of thing. But there's no, there's no need to worry because everything is looking up. You've got love offerings coming in. Um, and you know, those of you that are single, excuse me, <laughs> those of you that are single, um, you know, this is also a sign to really tap into the love that you have for yourself um, so don't forget that. Um, but yeah, you you guys are definitely getting some kind of um, beautiful energy in um, your love relationship this month. Like this is really, really, really great. Some of you could be getting an upgrade, um, like some kind of commitment, moving in together soon, or even a proposal for a, a, a small group of you, or even talk of proposal. Um, just talk of taking it to the next level. Um, so that's really exciting, you guys. Um, all right, Aries, and the outcome we have here is the tower. Um, don't be afraid of the tower. Um, everyone has to go through a tower moment to get to something beautiful like the Ace of Cups, okay? We all have to, um, you know, fall and make mistakes and kind of have an upheaval before you can get to something like the Ace of Cups, okay? So just don't be afraid of the tower. There is some kind of major change coming. I feel like um, for a lot of you, Aries, you guys are going to step up to someone and like tell them how it is and be like, no, like I'm choosing this person because I love them and they love me because this is divinely guided and you guys know that and it could it could cause um, some kind of tower moment, some kind of, um, you know, shaken up like the family dynamic kind of thing if it's like an unconventional um, partnership or something like that, which, you know, who cares about that stuff? Again, it's all about the way that you two care about each other and if you really are in love and want to take it to the next level, I say do it. <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.